Welcome to the Risa Floor online tutorial series. In this six part tutorial, we will demonstrate the powerful modeling, load management, and design features of Risa Floor. If you are a Risa 3D user, then learning Risa Floor will be simple. Risa Floor shares the same interface as Risa 3D and is easy to use. Risa Floor provides specific tools for building floors and managing loads. It designs beams, columns, and walls to resist gravity loads and creates drawings with these designs. And finally, although Risa Floor works completely as a standalone product, it can also be combined with Risa 3D as a total integrated building solution. This first tutorial will introduce the various drawing features that Risa Floor has to offer. You will model a project grid, columns, several walls, and explore the model settings of the model. We will run through the steps quickly, covering as much information as we can. For a step-by-step -step explanation of each tutorial, please consult the Risa Floor User's Guide. Click Create a New Floor Plan to begin. Since this is the first floor in the model, the only option is Original Floor. After creating one or more floors, you may then use them as a starting point for additional floors, either by creating a copy or child of an existing floor. The Create New Floor Plan dialog box also allows you to set the elevation, default area load, and the default deck for the floor. In the Elevation box, enter 15 feet. A new blank floor will display along with the Project Grid Lines dialog box. You can generate grids or type them in one at a time. We are going to generate grids in this tutorial. In the Z increments box, type the following dimensions, 30, 15, 44, 2 at 30, 25, 10, 20, and finally 10. Since the grid spacing is the same for the Z axis, and the x-axis, we will copy and paste the increments. Copy the units in the z-increments box and paste them into the x-axis increments box. Under the z-direction slash radial line labeling, in the start label box, type 1. For label order, choose A to Z. In the X direction slash radio line labeling box, for start label, type J. For label order, choose Z to A. Once you click apply, your project grid will be generated. Model settings are settings that apply to the entire model. On the Risa toolbar, click the model settings button. On the Descriptions tab, type in any information that you would like displayed in your printouts. On the Solution tab, these entries are used to control settings that affect the general solution of the full model. For more information on any of these entries, click on the Help button to open the Help file. Click on the Codes tab. The entries under this tab Present the available design codes to control the design of each material, live load reduction, and vibrations. You can click on the Composite tab, the Wind tab, the Seismic tab, and the Concrete tab to review the settings in each. When building your model, you will define the elements in the order that they will be built. For example, supporting elements such as columns and walls must be in place first before you can define elements that use those supports, such as beams. You may enter model elements through the spreadsheets or with the drawing tools. The use of drawing tools will be the focus of the next few sections of this tutorial. You will begin by creating columns. When creating columns, you may choose the material and shape of the column, as well as designate its orientation. You may orient the column towards a specific point, giving it a 
specific angle or combine the two. For this model, we will use several of these options. On the drawing toolbar, click Draw or Modify Columns to view the Draw Columns dialog box. Choose Hot Rolled. Under Material, select A992. Under Shape Group, select WF14. Enter columns by clicking on the F5 grid intersection along with B2 and I9 grid locations. Next, enter multiple columns by drawing a box around the grid intersections of D1 and E4. Repeat this process for the grid intersections at G6 and J7. To further define the gravity columns, do the following. On the drawing toolbar, click Modify Drawing Grid to create a local drawing grid. Under Drawing Grid Origin, in the Z-axis and the X-axis boxes, type 119. Click Radial Grid Parameters. In the Angle Increments box, type 24 at 15. And in the Radial Increments box, type 30, 35. Once you click OK, you will see you have a radial drawing grid on your screen. Create gravity columns by clicking on the following radial grid points. You can see that your cursor identifies your radial grid intersections and you can click right on them. Next, add your lateral columns. On the drawing toolbar, click Draw or Modify Columns. Under Function, choose Lateral. Add your lateral columns at grid lines C5, E5, F1, F2, F6, F8, I5, and finally, J5. Notice that by default, all the columns are oriented with their webs parallel to the vertical axis. Next, change the orientation of the columns toward the center column. On the window toolbar, click Joint Labels button twice to turn on the labels of the point locations. Make note of the point label at the center of the radial grid. That point label will be used next to orient the columns in your radial grid. On the drawing toolbar, click Draw or Modify Columns again and select the Modify Properties tab. In the Orientation Options, select the Use checkbox. In the Orient to Point, enter in the label for the center of your grid. In this model, it would be N1. Choose Apply Entries by clicking or boxing columns individually. Next, you can select the columns as follows. You can click on or draw a box around the columns in the upper portion of the radial grid. Continue clicking or drawing boxes around the remaining columns in the lower portions of the radial grid.
all the columns in the radial grid should now be oriented towards the center column. When you are finished with the radial columns, you can now turn the labels and the drawing grid off. Next, rotate the horizontal columns 90 degrees so that they are oriented properly. On the drawing toolbar, click the Draw or Modify columns again. Ensure that the Modify Properties tab is still selected. In the Orientation Options area, clear the Orient to Point box, and in the Rotate Angle box, type 90. Click or draw a box around the following columns to rotate them. When you're done, those columns should have rotated 90 degrees and be oriented as shown. The next step is to draw walls. On the drawing toolbar, click Draw or Modify Walls. Under Material, select Concrete. Under Function, choose Lateral. Begin drawing the following walls. Draw in a wall panel between A3 and A5. To do this, click on A3 and move the mouse to A5 and click again. Right click to release the mouse from that wall. Next, draw a wall panel between F3 and F4. The next wall panel is drawn between G5 and H5. The final wall panel will be drawn between F10 and H10. Next, you will add an opening to the wall panel on grid line A. Double click on the wall panel between A3 and A5 to open the wall panel editor. This editor allows you to add openings and design regions to the wall panels. You can also edit the material, design rule, and thickness in this view. Turn off the rendered view of the wall. Under Horizontal Grid Increments, enter in 23, 3, comma 3, comma 20. Under Vertical Grid Increments, enter in 7, comma 5. Click into the Editor Model space to update the grid. Click on Create New Openings, the button is located in the upper left corner of the editor. First, click on the upper left corner of the door opening, which is at coordinates 214, 7, 68. Next, click the lower right corner of the door opening at coordinate 214, 0, 71. When complete, the door opening will show with the X lined and the lintel label. Continue to draw in the larger door opening. Click on 214, 12, 74, and then on 214, 0, 94. Right click or click escape to cancel the opening drawing tool. When finished, you can add in the design regions around the openings. The wall panel editor allows you to create design regions in two ways, manually draw in each region or by using the automated generation tool. You will use the automated generation tool for this model. Click on the Generate Wall Regions Automatically button. 
turn the rendered view back on for a better view. Now you can see the two openings and the five regions that were generated around the openings. This is the end of tutorial one.